Did you know you guys can literally browse your Instagram feed and reels on the Watch 4 or the Watch 5? You can instantly translate to any language you want by just speaking into the watch. You could stream YouTube videos, browse Facebook, and even talk to friends on Facebook Messenger. So let's pick up Instagram first. Once you sign in, you can browse your feed as you normally would. You can access photos, carousels, and even stories just as you normally would on your phone. You can like and share a post and you can even view and respond to comments. And sure, you can browse reels as well, but there's going to be a bit of text that overlays that reel. Nevertheless, you will get an idea somewhat of what the reel is about. And then you can tap on the three dots if in case you want to share it or save it to view it on your phone later. And just like that, there are quite a few apps that you can have fun with on your Watch 4 and your Watch 5. Now, these are not available on the Play Store. So if you do want to know how to install them, watch till the very end. I'll take you through it step by step. This next one is the most useful one. It's Google Translate. You can just choose your from and to language. And because this is Google Translate, there are like a lot of options in there. So I'm just going to go with English to Hindi. I'm going to tap on the mic icon and I'll just say the phrase in English and it's going to translate into Hindi. There you go. It just translated how are you to kya hal hai. And here's the craziest feature in this. So let's say you translate your text. If you just turn your wrist around, it would show the translated text to someone in front of you. Okay, next, you can watch YouTube videos on your watch. So basically you sign in and you get the same feed that you see on your phone or on the web. Now, if you want to watch something, just tap on it. It's going to give you the option to either download or directly play. Just hit play and it's going to open up. You can hit full screen. And if you've got a pair of earphones connected to the watch, the audio comes directly into your ear or otherwise into the uh, speaker output of the watch. And it's actually not as shabby as you think. You can even look at all the description text that's there for the video. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to subscribe to the channel and look at all related videos to that video. And hey, you can even search within YouTube. Now, next up is Facebook Messenger. So if you do use Facebook Messenger a lot, it's probably nice to have this because now you'll be able to initiate conversations. You can look at all your contacts who are online. You can search for them. You can tap on them and initiate conversations. So that way it's really good because otherwise you can only respond to Facebook messages that come to you. Now there is an option to send like attachments, but you won't be able to do that. And no, you cannot call either. But yeah, you can totally write a message and send. And lastly, for people who still use Facebook, you've got the Facebook app as well. So you can write a post, you can look at stories posted by your friends, and you can browse your feed as you generally would. Sure, the view is not as great and as rich, but it's workable. You can like your posts, you can comment, you can send them to your friends. Uh, you can tap on photos and even view them. And yeah, it's not the best view, but you can also view the comments for that post and add your own comment. Now there is the tabbed navigation at the top. So you can look at all the invitations that you have or friend requests. You can go into messages and then you also have the search options. If you want to look for someone uh, or hit a message to them, you can do that. And there's also notifications. If you see at the extreme right, there is notification as well. And within messages, you can go into groups or just add someone and send a message. And as I said, there's notifications. So anything that's new, you can see it here. You don't always have to open your phone. Okay, so those were the apps. And now let's talk about installing them onto your watch. But guys, before I do that, if you really enjoyed watching the video, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon. That way, this video will reach out to more people and it'll really help the channel grow. All right, now about that installation, it might feel complicated, but it's really not if you follow the steps as I show them to you. So to install this, you're gonna hit the link in the description. It's a Google Drive link and it's going to open this Google Drive page onto your phone. Just make sure you download all of these files onto your phone's local storage. Once that's done, you can go into My Files, hit Downloads, and just check whether they have been downloaded or not. I've got a few more over here, but you basically need those five. Next, it's very easy. Just go to your watch, go into Settings, and scroll all the way down to About Watch. And then scroll down to where it says Software Information. And then in the Software Version, just tap it like seven or ten times. It'll say Developer Mode Turned On. And then when you go back, you'll see something called as developer options. Now scroll down and turn on ADB debugging. Don't worry, it's completely safe. 
and then scroll down and turn on debug over Wi-Fi. Now, just wait for five or six seconds. It's going to show you an IP address. It's very easy. Just write it down somewhere and keep it handy. Next, pick up your phone, go into Play Store and search for Easy Fire Tools. That's it. Just install this, open it up and then tap on this menu on the top left. Go into Settings, go into IP Address and just type in that IP address that you wrote. Do not write the colon 5555. Hit the plug icon on the top right and it's going to attempt to establish a connection with your watch and it'll say connected to that specific IP address. Hit custom APK file and click on select file. And now you can just choose that file that you downloaded. So if you want to install Instagram, just go into that folder, choose Instagram or whichever app you want to install, right? So you can just go through that list, select that installation file and then just hit done and then hit send or install and it's going to transfer that app and install it onto your watch. It's as simple as that. And that's pretty much it guys. Now, if you do get stuck anywhere, just drop a comment in the comment section. I'll definitely help you out. And that's it guys. If you did enjoy watching the video, again, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel and hit that bell notification icon and mark all. I'll see you guys in the next one.